Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through my house that I'm coming back to sell. Uh, it's in Virginia, and it's in a gorgeous place, but it needs some work. I'm gonna show you what to do to fix it up and sell the house. Let's get to it. It's in pretty good shape. I've had a tenant here for the last two years, uh, but it does need some love. So the first thing we should talk about is the kitchen. Uh, these are like 1950s cabinets and it's one of the biggest things that you need to do to sell your house is the kitchen. I wanna pull out these shelves and actually this whole, now this is a pretty cool deal. It's, it's probably like from the 50s. I love the cabinet and we could probably repurpose it. It's got the sweet sliding drawer, or excuse me, the sliding doors on the front but it's just too old school. We need to do something to make it look a little nicer. I also have this issue right here where there's a, there's a dishwasher and a stove right next to each other. So they kind of hit. Uh, I don't like it when the, when the, the countertop goes straight to a, a stove like that. There's just, it's a really tight corner and, and just terrible. Uh, we're also gonna complete these shelves up here, uh, take out this pantry cabinet and um, we're gonna do all new base cabinets in here. I also want to build a little pantry in here, some nice shelves uh, to make this a little more uh, user friendly in the kitchen. In here in the laundry room, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous setup. They've got this little cabinet and, and there's a pipe right there. If you notice, right when you come in, I have one, two, three different floor styles and that's just terrible um, to see all these different floors. So what we're going to do is cover this uh, this wood floor and in the sheet vinyl and we're gonna go with this vinyl tile uh, like this vinyl plank so we're gonna show you how to put in the vinyl plank floor it's uh, it goes in like laminate but it is waterproof a good rule of thumb about houses is if it's ugly change it out I mean that's just the basic the basic thing it, 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 if there's a light fixture or caulking that needs to be done go ahead and do that that's obvious. If there's stains or if there's anything on the ceiling or anything ugly, go ahead and, and take care of that. Here on this fan, we've got a, a nice fan that doesn't cover up top. It looks like we're gonna have to do some mudding there. Now, of course, we're gonna paint all one color. These stairs are terrible. We're gonna do simple things like the handrail arms right there are just all painted and ugly. So we're gonna show you how to change those. This bathroom is fairly, I'm not gonna do much in here. A little broken shower head and a tub drip here. And we're doing like this gray color with white trim. It's gonna really pop and look awesome. Now this bathroom has already been redone, but we're probably gonna do just a little caulking and make sure the caulk is tight. Uh, along the sinks, that's a big thing that you wanna look for. I wanna make sure your light fixtures are updated. Um, so it's looking nice. All in all, when you sell a house, I mean, obviously you want the paint to look right, you want the, all the caulking to be done, no stains on your ceiling, uh, but the big things are the kitchens. The kitchen, if it's a 1950s kitchen, uh, the sale is not gonna go as quickly as, as a new updated kitchen. These are the big selling points, kitchen and bathroom, which is why that's where we're focusing our, our most of our attention. The new floor that we're putting in is gonna give it a nice modern feel and kind of tie everything together. We're also gonna go through and do simple things like uh, change the doorknobs, make all the doorknobs the same uh, color and, and, and same style. It just, it gives it a fresh new feel, a new look. I'm excited to take you guys through that and I'll let you know how the sale goes and, and what happens. So that's it. I'm gonna start tearing out and doing the work that I talked about here. And of course, there's gonna be a video to follow. So for the home mender, this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.